understanding. What time of day is it? What about the scripture for this day? The conditions of the church, or the conditions of the church today in the world, politics, our world system is just as rotten as it can be. I'm not a politician, I'm a Christian. But I got no business talking about politics, but I just want to say they're rotten on both sides. I voted once. That was for Christ. I got to win. Amen. The devil voted against me. Christ voted for me. It depends on which way I cast my vote. I'm glad I cast it on him. Let the world say what they want to. I still believe that he's the same yesterday, today, and forever. He'll prove it. He certainly will. Certainly. The increase in crime, juvenile delinquency. Look at our nation. Once the flower of the earth. Our great democracy was formed back at her, and, uh, as a Declaration of Independence. And the Declaration of Independence is signed, and we had a democracy. And our great forefathers and the things that they done, we had a great nation. But she is now rotten and crumbling and shaking and giving away and trying to tax people to get money to send over there to buy friendship with their enemies. Amen. They're throwing it back in our face. One World War, two World War, and still moving on to a third one. Certainly, politics is rotten, corrupted, rotten to the bottom. Just exactly what Matthew 24 said it would be. Nation to be against nation, kingdom against kingdom. All these things would take place. Let's consider this now. All right. Notice another. The increase in scientific research. Now, one time, just a, my grandfather went to see my grandmother in an ox cart. Now, it's a jet plane. Or even a, a, a orbit into the air, in the outer space. It's great. How, who said this? Daniel 12, 4. Said knowledge shall increase in the last days. We see the hour we're living. Notice uh, the, the conditions of the world, the condition of science. And notice again today, in our educational system. Now don't try to deny this. I've got the newspaper clippings. Teaching sex in our church, in our schools, of young students to have sexual affairs with one another to see if they can mate in the world. Yes, sir. How about in our priesthood? Tonight I got a piece out of the paper over in Los Angeles, California, of where a bunch of clergymen, Baptists and Presbyterians, ministers brought a bonus to homosexuals in and practiced homosexuals. Saying they're trying to win them to God when that's why the curses of the hour, yes. the Sodomites, and the law even arrested them. Now where are we at? Our whole system is rotten out from under us. I've seen the increase of homosexual across the United States has increased 20 or 30 percent over last year. Think of that. Man living with man, just exactly like they did in Sodom. Increase in crime, juvenile delinquency. What hour are we living? This day, this word of prophecy is fulfilled. The religious world, the church itself, the church, the called out church that we call the called out church, the last church age, the Pentecostal church age, where is it? It's in Laodicea, as the scripture said. Today, they've let down the bars. Their women are half dressed, their men are. It's a horrible thing. Some of them married three or four times on deacon boards and everything else. They've let down and brought in corruption because they've set in councils and took the place with the world. And today, they got better buildings than they ever had. Some place, one of them's building a $50 million auditorium. $50 million Pentecostal. It used to be down on the corner 25 years ago, beating a tambourine. Said we because, the scripture said in Revelation 3, that you are rich. Said I'm rich. I said as a queen, I have need of nothing. And knowest thou not that thou art wretched, miserable, poor, naked, blind, and don't know it. This day, this scripture is fulfilled in your eyes. Amen. Amen means so be it. I'm not amen in myself, but I mean I believe it's the truth. This day, this scripture is fulfilled. The Pentecostal church is in a lady of sin condition. Oh, they still jump and holler and carry on when the music's beaten. When the music stops beating or the beat neck music, some of them play and call it Christianity. And whenever that stops, all the glory's gone. 
It's a real praise of God. There isn't enough whistles and enough the power in the world to stop it. Amen. When it really comes from God, it don't take music to be beat up. It takes the Spirit of God to come down. The and it's long for God because it clashed the gift of the Holy Ghost. Uh, initial evidence of speaking in tongues, and I heard devils and witches speak in tongues. The Holy Ghost is the Word of God in you that identifies itself by accepting that Word. Outside of that, it can't be the Holy Ghost. If it says it's the Holy Spirit and denies one word of that Bible, it cannot be the Holy Spirit. That's the evidence whether you believe or not. Notice another great sign. The Jews are in their homeland, their own nation, their own money. A member of the United Nations. They got their own army. They got everything. They're in their homeland, which Jesus said, learn a parable of the fig tree. There they are, right back in their nation. This day, this scripture is fulfilled. The Jews in their homeland, this day, this scripture is fulfilled. The lady of see a church age. This day, this scripture, Matthew 24, is fulfilled. The world is in corruption. The whole thing, nations against nations. Earthquakes in diverse places. Great whirlwinds coming down, shaking the nations and so forth. Great disasters everywhere. This day, this scripture is fulfilled. Now, we found out the condition of the world. We see where the church normal, normal organization, denomination, we see where they are. We see where the nations are. And we see that this day, these promises is fulfilled. Now, but in this day, there is to come a super royal seed of Abraham. Yeah. That's exactly what it be would be a royal bride to the royal common son. Yeah. As I spoke last night, it won't be a natural seed, it'll be a spiritual seed. There's to be a spiritual bride raised up, which will be the royal seed of the royal faith of Abraham's royal son. She is to come on the scene in the last days. And the time and the place is a promise is given to her. According to Malachi 4, a scripture, there is to rise a message that will shake the hearts of the people right back to the apostolic fathers again. There is to rise one on the scene in the power of Elijah that will rise on the scene, a wilderness man that will come out and will have a message that will come right straight back to the word again. That's the hour that we're living in. Then consider... Now, I ask you this hour, you people here of Jeffersonville in 1933, the supernatural light that fell down here on the river that day when I was baptized in 500 in the name of Jesus Christ as about a 20-year-old boy. What did it say, Jeffersonville? What was it at the foot of Spring Street there when the Courier Journal, I believe it was the Louisville Herald, packed the article up and it went plumb across the Associated Press, plumb into Canada. Dr. Lee Bale cut it out of the paper way up in Canada. In 1933, when I was baptizing my 17th person under this witness, and you know the rest of the story, and I was standing there baptizing this 17th person, a light come down from heaven, shining down above there like a star falling from the heaven, a voice said, as John the Baptist was sent to forerun the first coming of Christ, your message shall forerun it. This day, this scripture, day it's went around the world and when God came down there and said that when I was a little boy in a burning bush or a bush up in her own fire with a pillar of fire up here at Wathen's place on the Utica Pike packing water back there from that barn to the moonshine still you know the truth of it he said don't you never smoke or drink or defile your body for there's a work for you to do when you get older I testified that that being the truth that I saw it and God, as it did with Moses, spoke out before the congregation down there and said, This is the truth. This day, this scripture is fulfilled. In the midst of us. Watch what he said about the discernment and how it would be from laying hands upon them to knowing the secret of the heart. This day, this scripture is fulfilled. Before our very eyes, these promises that was made. 
Notice, all these promises have been vindicated and fulfilled by the God of the promise. Look, hanging in Washington, D.C. tonight, the picture of the angel of the Lord. As George J. Lacey, the head of the FBI, fingerprint and document for the United States government, examined it from Houston, Texas, and said, this is the only supernatural being that has ever photographed in all the world. Amen. He ought to know he's the best that's in the world. Or, notice, that hangs as a truth, the same pillar of fire that led Israel back under the wilderness is leading today the same kind of come up out of Egypt. Oh, your truth. This day... This scripture is fulfilled. You know the message that he said. Look at the vision of Tucson. Three years ago, we're standing up here on the lane. When five years before that, he said, the day that the city drives a stake down in front of that gate, turn yourself towards the west. My tabernacle of folks in here knows that uh, that time. That's right. And the day that Mr. Goings and was up there and drove that stake down, I said to the wife, is something about this? She said, what is it? And I went in and looked in my little book. There it was. And that next morning at 10 o'clock, sitting in there, my room there about 10 o'clock, the angel of the Lord came down. He said, go to Tucson. You'll be northeast of Tucson. And there will come seven angels in a cluster that will shake the whole earth around you. And said, it'll be told you from there. How many remembers that here? Way before it happened. There's man sitting right here in this building tonight, was standing right there when it happened, and said the seven seals of the hidden mysteries of the entire Bible will be opened and fulfilled. Revelations 10, that in the seventh angel's message, these things should come to birth. This day, this scripture is fulfilled before our eyes. This day, this scripture is fulfilled. Last year, standing in the same place, Mr. Woods here and I, going up the hill in a kind of mourning about his wife being sick, the Holy Spirit said, pick up a rock. Laying there, throw it up in the air. When it comes down, say, thus saith the Lord. There will be judgment strike the earth, telling that he'll see the hand of God in the next few hours. I told Mr. Woods is present tonight, and I guess eight or ten of the men of fifteen that was there at that time when it took place the next morning where the Lord came down in a whirlwind and ripped the mountain out around us and cut the tops of the trees loose and made tree blast and said, Judgment is headed towards the west coast. Amen. Two days after that, Alaska almost sunk beneath the earth. Amen. And since then, up and down the coast, the belches of God's judgment against that spiritual screen. There is a arm curtain. There is a bamboo curtain. And there is a sin curtain. Civilizations travel with the sun. So has the gospel. They've come from the east and went west like the sun goes. And now it's on the west coast. It can't go no further. If it goes further, it'll be back east again. The prophet said, there will come a day that cannot be called night or day. A dismal day, a lot of rain and fall. Just enough how to know how to join a church or put your name on a book. But it shall be light about the evening time. Yeah. This day, this scripture is fulfilled. The same, the same S-U-N that rises in the east is the same S-U-N that sets in the west. And the same S-O-N of God that come in the east and vindicated himself as God manifested in the flesh is the same S-O-N of God in the western hemisphere here that's identifying himself among the church tonight the same yesterday that is here. The evening light of the sun has come. This day, this scripture is fulfilled before us. Where are we at in this Abrahamic age? Where are we in this great time we're standing, the great hour that we're living? All the visions has been fulfilled. How about one little minister, friend of ours here, associate sister church, Junior Jackson, come running up to us one night and me down there and said, I had a, a dream, Brother Bram, it's bothered me. I've seen all the brethren gathered upon a hill. And said, upon this hill, you were teaching us out of letters that was wrote, looked like in some letters that time had carved out in the rock. When you finished that, all that was finished, 
You told us, said, come close. And we all gathered up. Said, you reached from somewhere and looked like got like a crowbar and whipped the top of this little pyramid open. And when it did, said, granite rock with no writing on it. And you told us to look in upon this. And you all, we all started looking, said, I turned my head and I noticed you going towards the west. Just as hard as you could towards the setting of the sun. How many remembers it? And I stood there a little bit till the Holy Spirit revealed it. I said the entire Bible as much has been revealed to man through justification, sanctification, the baptism of the Holy Ghost, the baptism in Jesus' name and all these things has been revealed. But there is secret that's hid inside because the Bible's sealed with seven seals. I must go there to find it. That morning when those seven angels come down and blasted the earth and rocks through every way, seven angels stood there and said, Return back to Jeffersonville from where you come from, for the seven seals of the seven mysteries will be opened. Yeah. Here we are today, understanding surf and sea. In a few days, of God willing, we'll understand the correctness of marriage and divorce and all these things that God's opened to ever seal the mysteries yeah. since the foundation of the world. And we've enjoyed the presence of His mystery. Yeah. That is true. This day, the scripture, the Life magazine packed an article of it. Mystic circle of light goes up in the air above Tucson and Phoenix. In the same way that I told you nearly a year before it happened, how it would be in a, like a triangle. The picture hangs in the church down there. You took that magazine, has it. There it was just exactly. It said it's 27 miles high and 30 miles across. They don't understand yet what happened. It appeared mysteriously and went away mysteriously. Brother Fred Sothman, Brother Gene Norman, and I stand there, three as a witness. I get up on the top of the mount, Peter, James, and John. They give witness, stood there and watched it when it happened. They seen it done. There it is, hanging in the sky. So far, there's no humidity, no moisture, nothing to make them a fog. How could it come there? It was the angels of God returning back after their message. This day, that prophecy has been fulfilled in our midst. This day, this scripture has been fulfilled. Watch. Seven seals has been opened. The whirlwinds to the west coast. Now don't miss it like they did back yonder. Now our attention a little closer to our day. What does the scripture say about today and about the time we live in? Jesus speaking. I won't have time to take them all, but I want to take this one before we close. Jesus said in St. Luke the 17th chapter, the 30th verse, Jesus Christ, the Word Himself, do you believe that? Yeah. Jesus Christ, the Word Himself, made flesh, spoke and said what the Word would be in the end time. Yeah. What would be the sign of the end of the world? He told them nation to rise against nation, but He said, as it was in the days of Sodom, so shall it be in the day when the Son of Man is being revealed. Now, when Jesus came to the earth, he came in the name of three sons, son of man, which is a prophet, son of God, and son of David. Now, he lived here on earth. He never did say he was the son of God. He said, I'm the son of man. Jehovah himself called Ezekiel and the prophets son of man because he had to come to fulfill scripture as a prophet. Moses said, the Lord your God shall raise up a prophet like an unto me. That's the reason he could not be the son of God there, because he was the son of man. He, the word came to the prophets, and he was the word in his fullness. Amen. Son of man, the, the major prophet, not the major prophet, but the God prophet. Amen. The fullness of the Godhead bodily was in him. Therefore, he was the son of man. Now, for 2,000 years, he's been known to us as son of God, spirit. And in the millennium, he'll be son of David up on the throne. We all know that. He would believe the scriptures. Now, Jesus said, just at the end of this church age that we're living in, that the Son of Man would be revealed again in the same manner it was as it was at Sodom. 